As a wise private detective once said, Who needs a car in LA? We got the best public transportation system in the world. Once upon a time in Hollywood, this was actually true, with the Pacific Electric Rail System covering over 1,100 miles of Southern California. Although the fleet of legendary red cars were officially retired in 1961, one public railway lives on in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. The incredibly short but incredibly cool Angel's Flight. Originally built in 1901, the narrow-gauge funicular railway features two trams on a pair of shared tracks, and is given over a hundred million rides and has been featured in over a hundred different films. From 1954's The Glenn Miller Story to 2016's La La Land, the history of Angel's Flight goes all the way back to the late 19th century, when Colonel J.W. Eddy, a lawyer and friend of Abraham Lincoln, left the Arizona Mineral Belt Railroad to settle on the West Coast. Eddy quickly saw a business opportunity and the steep hills surrounding his home in downtown LA, and spent six years developing, financing, and building the railway without any public funds. Unlike the city's other cable car lines, Eddie's counterbalance system was designed to easily climb the 33-degree slopes of Bunker Hill, and following its 1901 New Year's Eve debut to the public, he charged one penny for the steep, one-minute ride alongside the 3rd Street Tunnel. Over the next decade, its official name of the Los Angeles Incline Railway was changed as the public adopted the name of the sign of its iconic archway. As the surrounding neighborhood of Bunker Hill continued to grow, the city's downtown commuters came to depend on the system's two cream-white tram cars, which were named after two of the biblical hills of the Holy Land, Olivet and Sinai. Following the sale of Angel's Flight to the funding company of California in 1912, the railway carried over 100 million passengers over the next 50 years, all while the surrounding Victorian-style neighborhood was redeveloped for mid-century skyscrapers. Despite the efforts of historical preservation groups, such as the Native Daughters of the Golden West, the city of Los Angeles finally tore down the station and tracks in 1969, with the Olivet and Sinai tram cars ending up in storage, and later, in the coin-operated musical display of a private museum. However, in 1996, after a $4.1 million restoration campaign, Angel's Flight was revived and rebuilt just a half a block to the south of its original downtown location. For the first time since its 1901 grand opening, thousands of riders waited hours in line for the 300-foot journey up Bunker Hill, including Elena Wolfskill Thornton, the 1941 beauty queen of Los Angeles and a passenger of the original Angel's Flight. Thanks to the activist efforts of the railway's newly formed foundation, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places in the year 2000 and continues to be one of LA's most popular places to visit, though a ticket will cost 99 cents more than it did back in 1901. A ride aboard the Olivet or Sinai is the perfect way to cap off a lunch at one of the many great restaurants at the Grand Central Market across the street. If you've ever had the pleasure to visit Angel's Flight, please let us know about your experience in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and happy railroading.